If you have cancer or have had cancer in the past, you don't necessarily need to be tested for COVID-19 if you don't have symptoms currently that are suggestive of COVID-19. If you don't have a fever, cough, shortness of breath, then you do not need to be tested. If you do have those symptoms, it would be reasonable to call your physician or your oncologist to let them know and they can guide you where to go from there. So for cancer patients who are on active treatment, they're certainly at higher risk of developing infections and they are also at higher risk of developing COVID-19. Because of this, they should certainly self-isolate at home. Patients can still be around family members that are at home with them. They don't need to self-quarantine themselves into a certain part of the house or a certain room. But everybody who is around them and who they come in contact with, whether that's their family or their loved ones, should also be practicing social distancing and should not be um, not be going out, they should be staying home as well to protect that patient. Community is still continuing with radiation and chemotherapy infusions, as well as necessary surgeries during this COVID-19 pandemic. We are always going to try to maintain standard of care and not let the pandemic decide how people are going to be treated. Of course, we're going to take extra precautions, but we are still going to treat people appropriately despite this. Patients who are undergoing surveillance, exams, office visits, and imaging, whether that's CAT scans or MRIs, a lot of the routine surveillance is being pushed off just to minimize the exposure for patients coming to healthcare facilities. As soon as the pandemic is over and the height of the crisis has ended, then we will get right back to that surveillance that we were doing before. Your cancer care team is still available to you during this pandemic, and in fact, they're actually more available than they ever had been before. We still have the same team of nurse navigators and nurses and doctors and social workers, but with less patients being seen in the cancer center and more people being seen on virtual visits, we all have more time to talk to patients and make phone calls and the nurse navigators are still as available or more available than they ever have been before. So patients should still reach out and get a hold of us if there are any questions and we're more than happy to talk to them anytime. In this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, there are certainly more restrictions for patients and their family members with regards to who can come to appointments. We are not allowing patients to bring visitors in to have their chemotherapy or for office visits. Um, what we've been utilizing instead of having family members in is by using FaceTime or having the patient call their family members and put them on speakerphone. That way they're able to let us know how the patient's been doing, ask whatever questions they would normally ask, and we're trying to keep things as much business as usual and trying to involve family members as much as we normally do, despite not being able to have people in the cancer center to physically be here for appointments and for chemotherapy.